Hi guys, welcome back. Nick Reeves here and welcome to my channel. This video is the third part in the uh, build of a takeoff dolly for a fun fighter. Um, this kit is from um, funfighters.co.uk. Um, you better get a link at the bottom. Um, in the last video, it was just about coming together structurally, but it's now structurally together. Um, I was talking about having a steerable tail wheel or not at the back. What I've decided to go for is future proofing it so I can change it to steerable if I want, but it's like a fixed adjustable tail wheel. So what we've got is I've bought a steerable tail wheel bracket with the arm and everything, and then it's got just a fixed adjustable push rod to the tail wheel. So I've got adjustment in the arm and I've got adjustment in the clevis as well. It's only going to be a degree or two either way, just to keep it straight going down the runway. Um, now the steerable tail wheel bracket that came made it so high off the ground at the back that I bent up a, a different one, um, just out piano wire. Um, if it's still too nose down or seems to be too nose down, I can't get the adjustment in the, the tail piece. Tail piece that goes in the back. Um, well, obviously about getting bigger wheels. Um, we've got like two, maybe three inch wheels. <coughs> so I might have to, these are just ones I had, so I might have to get some bigger ones. Um, but that's how it's going to look. The axle is enclosed into that piece of structure at the bottom. Um, really well designed, actually. Uh, and fairly sturdy for what it's going to do. So that's where I just now, what I'm going to do now is cut this arm down a little bit, just take the excess length off. Uh, I'm going to take the steerable tail wheel bracket off again, take the adjustable rod off, um, and then give it a very light rub down and let Ewan paint it up. Um, you can probably guess what colour it's going to be. Um, and then once it's painted, we'll give it a bit of coat of lacquer as well, just to try and make it last a bit longer. Uh, so yeah, once that's done, I'll come back to you and show you uh, how we've got on with it. Um, hopefully see how it fits the aeroplane. So until then, come back to you in a bit. Okay guys, well, take off dolly is, as far as I'm concerned, finished. Um, it's turned out pretty well. It's a lovely shade of orange. A couple of coats of orange, a couple of coats of clear lacquer just to seal it up, make it a bit more durable to the elements um, when it's out in the field. Um, it's quite a good design. Um, by design, apparently it comes with um, mounting area for a servo to give it a steerable tail wheel, which keeps it straight on takeoff. I've just gone for a fixed but adjustable tail wheel, um, so I can just tweak it just to suit um, the direction. Um, I'm just eyeballing it by now and it looks straight, but it might track off when we try it. Um, I've already set up the the one fun fighter we've got at the minute, and it's the tail is sitting like this. So without building a new tail support, this is how it sits best. Um, so if I was going to do any modifications to this, I'd redesign this back end. It's not a great shakes for this aeroplane. Um, if it doesn't stay sta doesn't stay stable on this tail support taken off, and we don't get great takeoffs, I'll just build another section to go in here because this is just on a bolt and needs to be taken off. A new bit put in um, but as a demonstration for what it's meant to look like or what it will look like my beautiful assistant off camera we have a fun fighter split fire and it sits on the dolly just like that so it's sitting a very slightly nose up attitude relative to the ground um, only a few degrees so that the idea being once it's at speed for taking off, it'll just lift itself off the dolly as opposed to trying to pull it out the dolly. Um, or worse still, having it nose down so it actually flies into the ground. Um, so yeah, that's the, the dolly build done. It's all ready to try now. The only thing I've got to do with this particular aeroplane is check out the engine. Apparently last time, we haven't, I haven't actually flown this one yet. Um, this came from my dad as a kind of lending loan gift to Ewan. Um, 
His dad was saying that the engine was running oddly, but he didn't really go into much detail. So I'm going to give it a good bench run, or no, check here before we go up the field. Make sure it's all alright. This is just an OS25 in these fun fighters, which is what they're designed for. Um, it's not an over the top powered one that you see the mayhem slots at the shows flying with. Um, they have like 32s and pipes and all sorts on them. Um, yeah, the dolly builds I'm happy with. Um, if you're liking this sort of video, these builds, let me know. Click on the subscription down here somewhere. Um, tick on the notification bell. You'll get videos. When I put videos up, you get a notification that they've gone up. Um, links below here to as best I can for where the dollies come from. Uh, I've also got the Facebook group, the uh, Twitter pages, the what's the other one? What's what's more? Um, Instagram. Instagram, yeah. Um, Instagram as well. Um, all good feedback is appreciated. Any negative feedback is appreciated, but just feedback is all good. Um, it's all constructive. Um, but yeah, for now, um, I'm happy with this. And until the next video, I'll catch you again soon.